Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Sleepy Snake with another video today. And today, guys, Apex Legends is a new battle royale that just came out and it hit 2 million players yesterday. Now, on the 7, it's almost at 10 million, million players playing it. I think I, um, a lot of people don't know what they're doing uh, and they need some tips about the game uh, new game just came out so I wanted to make this video for you guys to give a couple of tips I have eight major tips I want to talk about in this video I will have more advanced tips later on in the future so the first thing I want to talk about there's no fall damage no fall damage or no team damage so if you shoot your teammate nothing's gonna happen at least from what I experienced nothing's gonna happen uh, you play one of the tanks. One of the tanks actually has uh, ability to call in an airstrike and bring down the airstrike on all the enemies. He's the only one that can take damage from that. Your teammates cannot take damage at all. So remember that, guys. And fall damage, you do not take fall damage from nowhere. So you want to jump down somewhere to escape or jump on somebody from on top. That's perfectly fine. Do it 100%. Go for it perfect thing so the next thing i want to talk about is looting ammo and items so you didn't know what kind of ammo each gun takes each gun is different well not some guns take the same ammo some guns are different uh they have a pistol shotgun which you you see a pistol which you thought it has pistol ammo but no it takes shotgun ammo so make sure you know what ammo you have it, it should say in the bottom right what kind of animal ammo excuse me that you are using so make sure you know what type of ammo you need okay so the next one i really want to talk about is we're getting into the gameplay right here we're talking about playing central zone playing central zone it means um you're in a zone right you're always rotating constantly 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 and you're in not basically you're not really in the middle of the zone you're playing the zone well you're always rotating you're always right beside or in the zone every time the zone pops up uh make sure you get the early rotation so you can get people that are coming uh to try to get in the zone so you can get them while they're running out and you ha already have the high ground you'll already be ready you and your teammates be ready to fight them so the next thing i want to talk about is looting attachments looting attachments you need to make sure what you pick up and what you don't pick up okay so you need to know what goes on your weapons when you go to uh put on an attachment it will say which attachment it goes on which gun it goes on uh if you want to switch a gun out if it has the same attachment for that same gun you can switch it out and it will automatically be attached to that gun so make sure make sure you know what you're picking up and uh what takes what attachments takes to that gun because if you just pick it up if it doesn't know uh, that attachment doesn't go to your gun then you it would just be in your inventory and that's a waste of space and you don't want that because you need your space okay next one i want to talk about is golden guns golden guns is weapons that you can get out of a care package which is used by lifeline lifeline ultimate is uh the care package and you can get two golden guns out of there which is a shotgun and a uh heavy sniper rifle shotgun is pretty decent i used it uh, I liked it. You're going to see it at the end of this video when I was using it. Uh, it is amazing. I think it's pretty good. My friend doesn't like it. I like it. Still iffy about it. I only used it uh, once, so I really don't have a real view on it. So once I get to use it a little bit more, I will tell you more about it. The best weapons. You need to know what kind of weapons you are using. We're talking best weapons right here. So uh, the Peacekeeper, uh, all the three-round burst guns, assault rifles, LMG, shotguns. You need to know out the best which one's the, uh the best one like the g7 scout pretty good does a lot of precision damage once you hit them in the head it takes like three shots knock them down no shield bam shotgun peacekeeper make sure you have the attachments like i said the right attachments you would do a lot of damage and it would you would be great all right so the next thing i want to talk about is ultimate accelerant ultimate accelerant is it helps you boost up your ultimate by 20 percent you kind of really need this if you're like uh, a damage dealer or a pathfinder pathfinder helps pathfinder ultimate uh is a basically a zip line he can place a long zip line he can place to get you out of situations away from the zone and etc um i wish i think it's pretty good to have he's a good support support character uh, but damage dealers uh that would be great to have to boost up your ultimate 
Um, the last thing I really want to talk about is knowing the characters. Guys, get to know the characters. Get to know how to use them. Know what they do. Know the abilities. Know the ultimate. Know um, what they can really do. What is their role when you're playing with your other teammates? You Are you a healer? Are you a tank? Are you a damage dealer? What Are you a flanker? What You need to know what you do with these characters you can't just you can't just go out there and just like you know winging it you know what i'm saying well you can but it would be better if you know the characters know the abilities like lifeline she's a support character she has a healing uh for one of her little abilities then she has a care package for her ult pathfinder he has a zip line for one of his abilities and his ult is a bigger zip line that his other teammates can use right then we uh we have wraith uh she can do a teleporter she can go invisible. She can teleport uh, her enemy, uh, her friends, or teammates, if you want to say, to a different position. Get you out of zones. Uh, get you out of different gun uh, situations. It's great. You can use Wraith for anything. So you need to know what characters you are using and what uh, what do they do. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you like videos like these and you want more videos like these you like apex legends please hit that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe i'm out guys i'll see y'all next video i'm out peace